You know, it's World Polio Day today, a day dedicated to ending that disease for good. Did you know that key partners in the fight are right here in Seattle? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Rotary, a service organization that has raised millions of dollars and delivered polio vaccine to kids overseas for decades. But since polio is a virus, until it's gone everywhere, it's still a threat to everyone. I recently sat down with Leah Hegg, Senior Program Officer at the Gates Foundation, to see where we are in the fight. We've made tremendous progress. Uh, we used to see cases of polio paralyzing kids in almost every country in the world, hundreds of thousands of cases every year, and now we're at a point where we have just a few cases in a small area of the world. Um, but we have to say that we're disappointed this year. None of us wanted to see cases. We're impatient and we wanted to um, end polio in 2019. Um, the fact is, in Pakistan and Afghanistan, where we're still seeing cases, we have tremendous challenges that we're facing. Conflict and insecurity. Um, and we have to come up with new ways to solve those problems. We've got really brave polio workers going into insecure areas during periods of calm to vaccinate and then get out before they're in danger. Um, we have uh, vaccination at transit points outside of these areas so when people leave they can get vaccinated. So we still have the tools, we have the persistence, and we're still really confident that we'll get there. The $64,000 question of course is what is it going to take to get us over the hump? At a basic level we have to reach every single child with polio vaccine and um, that is rich, poor, in cities, in remote areas, girls and boys which is the you know, best effort at equality that we uh, can strive for. And that takes innovation. Um, I've been working on polio eradication for almost eight years. And in that time, I've seen such changes in the program, it's incredible. You've got WHO and CDC and UNICEF staff coming up with new ideas and a partnership that helps them put those ideas in place every time we have a new challenge. Rotarians, uh, members and leaders, talk to community leaders and raise funds and get everyone around the table to solve these problems and make sure that we have the next solution whenever there's a challenge. Um, so uh, we do need to remain innovative and um, I've seen the examples of that happening. Some people may not know that the fight against polio has created an incredible infrastructure that's not just good for polio, right? Right. Um, a lot of the new ideas that have come out of polio are just ideas that can be applied to health systems and to other disease control efforts. Uh, for example, to reach every child in the community, you need a good map of that community and a good plan for how to reach those kids. And those plans and maps can be used to deliver all of the other vaccines, bed nets for malaria, um, to understand where people live to get them services. Um, and the political will behind the polio eradication effort has galvanized interest in health, interest in vaccines that we can leverage for other things. Um, and it's created partnerships around the world um, with donors and with other um, organizations like Rotary, the Gates Foundation, and our technical partners that we can use to really tackle huge problems. Well, I speak... Um I know I speak for everyone in this fight when we say we're so grateful for the Gates Foundation and what you are all doing. So I'm hoping that we can sit back here in the near future to celebrate the end of polio. Me too, and it's World Polio Day, and so it's a good time to thank you and other Rotarians everywhere for keeping up the energy in this partnership and really continuing to bring everybody around the table to get this done. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. So it's really exciting. We've gone from about 350,000 cases a year in the 1980s to about 20 in the world, but we have to get to zero for three years to declare polio dead for good. When it is over, it's gonna be the second time in human history we've eradicated an infectious disease. Smallpox was the first one. If you wanna help in the fight, it's simple. Text POLIO to 206-448-4545. We're gonna send you a link today's, to today's World Polio Day global live stream. You're gonna get lots of information, inspiration, and links to help.